Hi everyone, so today's look is a really fun, uh, very simple smoky eye using shimmering neutrals. Now the look go grades from dark at the lash line to very light into nothing and it's really satiny and smooth and it's basically a very bedroom looking eye inspired by the Too Faced Boudoir's palette. Now what I love about this palette is that it's basically a more nighttime version of the Naked Eyes which it could have been called Naked at Night but they already have natural at night so they didn't really probably want to get it confused. This palette I really like because it doesn't have an annoying glistening mirror which makes it super easy to show you guys on camera and they do have some new shades some of these shades actually are in the naked eyes palette which is why I said it's a nighttime naked eyes uh, in the buff satin sheets I believe birthday suit to say garter belt are all old shades there are five new ones which I believe are fuzzy handcuffs sugar walls lap dance valley vous and French Tickler, which is an amazing black with gold sparkle, one of the best I own. Um, absolutely love this cute little tin. I love how it's got like a mattress on it. Uh, it's really cute, really adorable. I hope they continue to make them into tins. And then they have like this almost like brocade gold rope going around it, like the edges of a really, really nice mattress. The uh, card is a nice like kind of long collector's card so you don't have to worry about losing all your little cards you're free to use this card I said tucks right in there and you close it it'll still be in there not on top of your eyeshadows so anyways uh super travel friendly one of my favorite palettes right now i love i don't know if they're kind of playing with a new formula or if this is just because it's new it has more i guess pigmentation regardless it's fabulous and you can create a lot of fun wearable looks with this palette I'm wearing I'm using a couple new products um, wearing new shimmering earrings and yeah so I hope that you enjoy and thank you for watching I've already taken the Andalou Naturals luminous eye brightening serum all over the lid and up to the brow bone and then I took my all natural face magic vegan eyeshadow primer and put it all over the lids and up to the brow bone and blend it out with my finger I'm going to be taking right here is fuzzy handcuffs I'm gonna take this up on my dime till 785 we're just going to tap into that. These are really soft. They don't have to dig your brush into them. So I'm going to sweep this from lid to brow. And it's just got a very slight satin sheen. Now I actually picked this palette for the shade Fuzzy Handcuffs right here. I wanted, I wanted to find a palette that had a perfect tan nude highlight shade. Birthday suit. I'm going to place this on the eyelid. We're just going to blend that out. It's a nice taupey nude but a very light one. And then I took Lap Dance, which is this nice sort of gray-brown taupey color, and put it right over Birthday Suit and the wash of Fuzzy Handcuffs. I'm now going to take the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Perfect Black. I'm going to apply this to the upper lash line, holding the lid taut. I'm now going to take French Tickler, which is this really nice black with a gold sparkle. It's actually really pigmented. I don't know if I'm saying that just because this palette's new, but the pigment seems to be really nice in this fresh palette. Or maybe they changed the formula, I don't know. So I'm just blending it up from the eyeliner. It'll help to have a nice creamy soft eyeliner to blend out. You don't want anything too hard. 75 and we're just going to brush it using no pigment across the lash line to sort of soften up any possible hard edges. I'm now going to take French Tickler and rather than going into the crease, the whole crease with French Tickler, I'm just going to stay in the outer corner. I've been noticing a lot of eyes are just staying in like a very soft outer notch of the eye. Because this doesn't bleed easily, I'm going to be taking the Zuzu Luxe liquid, or sorry, the Zuzu Luxe eyeliner in Obsidian on the lower lash line. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's a really nice shadow base and for the upper lash line. For the waterline, it just doesn't stay on me. I actually decided to wrap this French tickler underneath. And I really pulled it down kind of far and really got the outer edges, made sure it connected with that really sort of cute little um, outer outer portion right there and then for the inner tear duct I just flipped over my brush 
so I didn't get any black in my lap dance shade. And I placed this in the inner tear duct just to keep it sort of soft and smoldery. I'm going to take Inglot Liquid Liner number 25, just at the very base of the lash line. Nothing too extreme because we already have the waterproof liner. But I want to adhere false lashes and I don't want any gaps. I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. This is not waterproof. And we're just going to go ahead and put this from the base of the lashes upwards, wiggle it all the way up. I do close my eyes when I'm doing it so that I can go a little bit faster without getting any mascara on my eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and take our Del Dummy Wispies. These are so multi-purposeful. You can wear them for uh, very edgy looks. You can use them to kind of help layer or build up a very um, heavy uh, lashes if you want that more full look. Um, you can use them for a very soft smoky eye like this or you can use them for a very colorful look and they're just not overbearing. I'm going to take Inglot YSM Cream Foundation in the shade number 43 and we're going to go ahead and put this on with the Delium Tools 957. I'm just going to go ahead and stipple this on. I'm going to take the Too Faced Aqua Bunny and we're going to go ahead and contour the face. Too Faced Full Bloom in the shade T-Rose, and we're going to go ahead and blend this back. Alright, so I'm going to be taking Sun Bunny and Chocolate Soleil. I'm taking a mix of both. One of the very first tricks I ever taught myself with makeup was how to use bronzer and how to bronze my face, basically. I learned this way before I ever learned how to contour. Contour came when I found... Uh, YouTube and I was in cosmetology school and I saw people were contouring their faces. But anyways, bronzing is very similar in a sense, or maybe I've just kind of combined contouring with bronzer. I have a much simpler way to make sure that bronzing doesn't go crazy back when I first started bronzing. Uh, I would pretty much just go all over the face and it would take a while to get the powder to look nice but that was before lotions and before I knew how to really prep and prime. So I'm going to be taking a blend actually of Sun Bunny and I actually had a wet and wild bronzer when I started bronzing back when I was re really young and uh, I'm going to take a mix of Chocolate Soleil so I don't have these nice products. These make bronzing and contouring very simple. Anyways, with contouring powders, you want something very subtle and matte. You want it to be natural. You want it to look like your own bone structure. With bronzing, you want something a little bit more obvious, like Sun Bunny. You could see that sheen in there, and that's not something you'd use as a contour powder necessarily, because like I said, it illuminates the face in a sense, which is what a lot of bronzers do. They give you a sheen, you know, a very nice satin sheen. So I do a very similar method to the way I contour nowadays, except I take it a little further. I really blend into the entire cheekbone and up a little ways just to get that all over brown look. The sides of the face, and this is the 959 which is a nice buffing uh, round brush. Rather than just stopping at the angles of my forehead, I take it all over the forehead completely down the nose. Now if you have difficulty contouring your nose and you don't want it to look so, I guess, white or big or whatever, it can help maybe to bronze it rather and just take it and blend it out so you don't have like a funny stripe on your nose. Other side of the face and the chin. If you really want to get the hollows of the cheekbones, take a little bit more chocolate soleil and just a touch of sun bunny and you could do two within one. And then, just to add a little bit more flesh, I'm taking a Too Faced Full Bloom Ultra Flush Powder Blush in the shade Who's Your Poppy. I'm just going to put that on top and blend it back. Sun, uh, sorry, Snow Bunny. We're going to take just the pink side and we're going to do a little bit of highlighting. I'm actually going to stop right here under the eyes rather than taking it all around. We're just going to do a very round shape right here. It's a very pretty, luminous shape I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was really pretty. And then just blend it down into Who's Your Poppy to really pop out that gold sheen in that really pretty coral blush. I'm take Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in 68. I know, right? I deviated from the Too Faced look. But I don't want to take just colors just from the line, just to stay with the line if they're not... if the colors I have to work with aren't gonna work. I'm sure if I was sitting in front of a whole Too Faced display with every color, 
it'd be different of course but that's not the case for lips i have a new lip surgeon this is from the lip luster line they have lip tint matte and lip luster the lip lusters have some shimmer in them which is why i like to put this shimmering lip pencil underneath because it really just enhances that shine so i have tarte glitzy lip luster on and it's described as a rose antique uh, pink it's got gold shimmer in it it's very great for summer moisturizing super wonderful i take tarte adored so much it's no longer got that cute point um this is a nice baby pink so i decided it's time for a new one because i hate buying them because they're kind of expensive but if you use them then they're worth it i hope that you enjoyed this look i know some people are going to say you're starting to look really orange on camera um look at the before and after photos because that is my real color uh, the camera always adds 10 pounds of color that's not yours or it washes you out. It is what it is. It's just not true to life, which is why I have the photos. Also, so you can see stills of the makeup. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.